Yeah, yeah, this is what TDSC, and I got another dope video for y'all, man. Is Innocent Man locked up by Unhinged Cop? Uh, should be another banger by Lackluster. Like, uh, I appreciate channels like Lackluster and Audit Audit and the rest of the other channels that showcase most, some cops aren't that great. You know what I'm saying? Cops are human too, right? And cops make mistakes, and it's hard to say, Oh, well, it shouldn't be like that. But cops are human, bro. Right? We all have problems. Like, anything can happen. Like, the old lady cheated on you. Uh, your bosses get on your nerves. Other employees get on your nerves. Family issues. Anything can happen that you can come to work and have a bad day and just take it on somebody else, right? But with that job, it's kind of hard to say that you can get away with that because it's like laws involved. You are, I mean, there's other high-ranking, other, like, law enforcement jobs like the military, Navy, such and such, you know what I'm saying? The Navy, the Coast Guard, and all the other stuff. It's higher ups than, like, your local police, but you still have to abide by law. You just can't break rules. You just can't make up your own stuff. So, this is one of the reasons why I like to react to these videos. So, you can, the American people can just see, you know what I'm saying? We don't. Hate all cops. Is like, is there amazing cops out there? It's like amazing cops out there, but there are some bad apples out there, man. And that's the reason why I love reacting to these videos, man. So shout out to Lackluster and everybody else. Audit to audit. Welcome back like to the Lackluster channel. Make sure you like and subscribe. On May 9th of comments. 2023, a viewer named Ryan was using a community oh, pool to swim laps, as he <laughs> often does for his workouts. Surveillance footage shows the incident, but has no audio. However, Ryan claims that after spending quite some time in the pool, one of the other locals arrives and tells Ryan to leave and swim somewhere else. Can you stop doing what you're doing so I can do it? Ryan declines the command and continues doing laps, moving to the furthest edge he could. In pure spite, the woman begins swimming laps as well, but perpendicular to Ryan, causing their paths to collide. Ryan can be seen waiting his turn, but the woman swims directly into his path again. He can be seen questioning why she can't use the longer length of the pool as he was. The woman exits the pool and can be seen using her cell phone to call her husband to the scene. Upon his arrival, the three argue about Ryan leaving the pool, but after Ryan re- Whoa. Dude, refuses to go. The couple that approaches him crazy. and gets she more aggressive. Older. Ryan makes repeated gestures for them to go and leave him alone, and claims he would have left, but that the couple was blocking the exit and that he didn't want to get too close. But the more they argued, the closer the couple got to him. Each time, I told you I to do that. Fire right off on his ass. Still, eventually, the man closed the distance to Ryan threatening him and lifting up his shirt revealing a concealed pistol ryan backed up of again, course gathered his things of course he doesn't look like a fighter at all bro so there's a reason why <laughs> he stepped up to him and like what see i said i'm 145 and i'm out of your weight class there's a reason why bro <laughs> i'm about to heat her on him and yeah that blicky <laughs> And before pow, continue, pow, everybody one died. Of the longest supporters of this channel. In fact, in 20 list is through this attachment here in it's to Ryan's 911 call and speaks to Ryan alone, after which the officer goes to the pool area to speak with the suspects, removing the man's weapon and bringing them inside the air conditioned pool house. Meanwhile, no, not to be all like. That type of dude, but honestly, if that was a black dude that did that, hey, he'd have been on the goddamn ground right now. <laughs> Officer Ricky Guerrero arrives on scene. And I can show you a video right now, she yells proving me right. Ryan as he tries to explain that he's already spoken with an officer and that his aggressors are inside. Her response was to initiate a felony stop by drawing her service weapon and aiming oh, it wow. at Ryan, making this the second time his life was threatened with a firearm in less than 10 minutes for swimming. He is then handcuffed by the officers. Ryan alleges that Brittany and other officers would berate him over the next few minutes, which matches up. 
after reports show that she was found to have been in violation of department regulations after berating a suspect in 2019 and was forced to turn in her badge for two months in 2020 after she was charged with stalking, which is a rabbit oh, wow. hole of a story in itself, but we'll have to get into that at another time. Inside, officers observe the aggressors laugh and cry and then question the two together, ensuring that their stories remained similar. Ryan pleaded with the officers to watch the cameras to see that he was clearly innocent, but even after watching the footage, the officers still found a way to place the blame on Ryan. But at some point during the interaction, wow. Brittany, the officer that drew down on an innocent man in a bathing suit, would later be removed by paramedics. It is alleged that she suffered a panic attack, but that is unconfirmed. Ryan is eventually placed in a police cruiser, and the man and woman who created this scene were allowed to leave. Ryan was kept in nothing but his swimming trunks and handcuffs. As and now, normally when I complain about this, you know what I'm saying, it was like racial motivated, but I'm glad this video popped up because this could happen to anybody, bro. Anybody. This dude is literally just swimming and got a, got the, 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 the blick he pulled out on him, and he's going to jail for it. That's tough, bro. As he was driven around town before being taken to jail for booking, That's tough. and just before it was his I, 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 I need, I need body count, bro. To jail I need, I need, I need, like, you know what I'm saying? He was clearly innocent of. He was released. Soon after, he contacted me and attempted to get body cam footage of the encounter. He gave yeah, say, we need body cam footage, bro, so we know what's going on. Assistant chief and was told that an internal affairs investigation was being conducted, so we wouldn't be seeing the footage anytime soon. Which is weird, considering Florida law provides exclusion for internal affairs investigations. We have appealed the records That's request That's denials, beautiful, bro. the department has refused that that to blue. answer to this no day, and this story just gets worse from here. Five days after Our the water incident, not that blue. being told Palm Beach? Sand by the Palm chief Beach of police, I, I, I am returned to, Palm to the Beach, department bro. to ask about the footage a third time and to express a grievance. He was met in the lobby by Sergeant Carl Cooper, the Palm Beach Gardens Police Department Supervisor of the Year of 2023. By all accounts, this here is the best that the department currently has to offer. Hey, Captain. No. Sergeant Cooper, how are you doing? You're a sergeant? Yes. My name's Ryan. Can I get your uh, name and badge number, please? Sure. Um, how can I help you? You could give me your name and badge number. I will do that at the end of the uh, conversation. How can I help you? Well, I would just like to know who I'm speaking to before we continue. My name is right here, and I'll give you my card, my business card. Mr. Got. Here? What's your badge number? 283. I'll okay. give you all that Thank stuff again. Okay. So, uh, I'm here with the PCC Investigative News Team, and it's come to our attention that uh, the taxpayers are paying to park a police car outside of Home Depot 24-7. So, I'm just wondering, like, who approved that, and, and why our funds are being used that way? Excuse me? I'm questioning why taxpayer money is being used to park a cop car outside of Home Depot 24-7. Is the car running? Did we pay for it? Is the car running, sir? Did I actually, Home Depot pay you're for it? asking me a question, I'm asking you a question. Is the car running? Did you answer my question? Why would Is I answer yours? Running? Did I ask you first? You've been rude since you came out here. I, I introduced been, myself. I asked been. you who you were. You wouldn't even tell me your name. My name is right here on the top. Right here is your name? And I'll give you what if I can't read? Are you just I said my name is right here on my tag. The disgruntled supervisor of the year knows just as well as everyone watching that refusing to introduce yourself is impolite and unprofessional. Furthermore, it is now obvious to all citizens that it's a part of police culture to point to your badge and say it's right here, and that it's done as a way to get by with disrespecting the person inquiring. It's saying Quack. you without the Quack. this behavior <laughs> is unbecoming of an officer and departments across the country are finally writing policy to ensure their officers identify themselves when speaking to a member of the public, especially one that has a potentially damning lawsuit incoming that still went out of his way to stand, introduce himself, and extend his hand. In fact, some states, such as Massachusetts, have laws requiring police officers to carry identification cards and to present them upon request. Policies and laws are written to persuade or discourage a certain behavior. With these policies, it it appears the reason they've been written is because the police, in this case, okay, the I see you uh, 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 like the most down, absolute uh, like basic too. courtesy to the people they serve. I'm asking you why taxpayer money is paying for a car to sit outside of a well, private business. Well, that's a, that's a police tactic, sir. Anything else I can answer for you? Yeah, I would like to know who approved taxpayer money being sent to protect 
uh, a private business like that. What is this? Did I switch it to another video? Is Home Depot a private business or public? It is. Okay. Do they make we're their not, own money? Not, why why are they not, providing security? So we're not protecting Home Depot. Yeah? Well, who are you protecting with that cop car there? Because I was just assaulted. <laughs> Well, I was assaulted twice with a gun on Tuesday. Oh, Can you guys park a cop car outside of my house for crime prevention? Or are you just only protect you know, businesses? I yeah, I would, I would love a cop car to sit there and protect me. Because I was assaulted two times in my swimsuit on once or on uh, Tuesday with a gun. I'm sorry to hear that. Yeah, and I'm just wondering why I'm not being protected, but a, a large corporation that can afford, you know, to pay for their own security. Mm-hmm. I'm just wondering what, you know, what's going on with that. Okay. Well, like I said, it's a police tactic. Yeah, so is there a cap I can speak to to clear the you're, 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 you're not here waiting, sir. Okay, so come back Monday and I can hopefully get Monday, answers. Monday you should have a cap. Okay. Back. And let me go get my business card. No, we're okay. But, but you know, come on, just come on. Intro- I, I introduced myself immediately to you. They're, they're right okay, here. Okay, but you never, the, you never gave me ID, okay? Right. My you name, didn't, are sir, you going to show sir, me your ID? Sir, sir. My badge is in. I can't read. You came to a police station, okay? I can't read. For Sergeant Cooper's next trick, he will gaslight Ryan and accuse him of playing games, as if he didn't intentionally start them, setting the tone for the entire conversation. You, you seem like an intelligent guy. Listen, yeah, sir, of sir, course. I'm not gonna play this game with you. Go okay? ahead. You came in here, it seemed like you're an intelligent guy, yeah. and now you're going around playing games and you can't yeah. read. My name tag is on my shirt. I'm looking okay. to close the gap. I'll give you my business card. No, we're okay, because okay. you introduced yourself okay. and okay. it's okay, okay. okay. So even if I gave you my business card, right, it's still a map because you say you can't read. Right. Okay. So that's why you got to tell me your name. Okay. When okay. I ask. Okay, my name is Carl Cooper. It's right here. Thank you so much. Okay. Can we leave on a good note? That, that's all I'm looking for. Listen, we're all humans here. Treat me like a human. Well, I mean, you, you came in here all the lizards. Yeah, because you guys kidnapped me. Dragon. What do you mean, you guys? The police. You're you. You're not a human anymore. You're you're a job at this point. You're okay. probably a great guy, and I have no issues with you. But but the, the I system. Have, I don't have an issue with you, but if you yeah. want to come and talk to me, talk to me, man. Well, I, I really you don't have the answers, unfortunately. I really want to talk, speak to a captain about getting that police car, you know, maybe somewhere better to help the people okay, well, instead of a massive corporation. Talk call. me back, but. And, you know, I, I'm not going to file a complaint, but, you know, just come out, be friendly. I, I didn't come here, you know, I introduced myself immediately. Just be like, hey, I'm Sergeant Cooper, nice to meet you. I'd love to hear what your issues are. Let's work on it. This is, this is what I have an issue with when you came in. Okay, I told you who I was. You're a sergeant? Yes. My name's Ryan. Can you your uh, name and badge number, please? Sure. Um, how can I help you? You could give me your name and badge number. I will do that at the end of the uh, conversation. How can I help you? Well, I would just like to know who I'm speaking to before we continue. My name is right here, and I'll give you my card, my business card. Mr. Mm-hmm. Here? What's your badge number? This is mm-hmm. what I have an issue with when you came in. Okay? I told you who I was. Okay? I told you I'd give you my card at the end. Right, but I'm okay. speaking to you. I want to know who you are. What do you mean? Introduce yourself like a man. Let's have a conversation. I know you're telling me. That you can't read. Treat me like but a man. I know, but I, I know better. We're humans. You seem to be an intelligent guy when you came in here, and I took everything at face value. Now when you start beating around the bush and playing Listen, it's all on video. Sir, all we'll see. Is, I think some, some, some people here might be understanding, but, but start treating the people who are paying your salaries like humans. Okay. Come up to them, introduce yourself, close the gap. Don't start so confrontational. I was not confrontational. Sir. You kind of were, brother. And, and, if you, and if you as a grown man think that's how you come introduce yourself to another grown man, okay. you know, I, I'm seriously concerned for you. Okay. My boy's speaking facts, right? He's speaking facts, but it's not normal. So they're looking at him like he's the problem, like he's crazy or whatever. Bro. But he's speaking facts, though. That's... When we police can twist stuff on you, they make you look crazy, like because it's out of the norm, right? Most people, they just come, go about their business, file a complaint, and just go about their business, right? They don't need all the extra shit, right? He's pointing out the obvious, right? Come on, man. Like, hey, I'm such and such. What is your name? I'm just a sergeant. Come on, man. You 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 playing games at this point? So he's not wrong. But the fact that he's harping on it makes him look crazy. Smart dude, man, but come on, it's like when it comes to law enforcement, it's like a, a win lose, bro. Thanks for your concern. I mean, who raised you that way? Thanks 
expressing your concern. It's pretty embarrassing. Enjoy your Sunday. Right. <laughs> the next morning, Ryan went to the city hall to request financial records and was assigned an escort to hover around him, which consisted of Officer Romero, a captain, and the assistant chief of police. After filing that request, he was followed to the police department, where he sought more body cam footage. While following Ryan, he inquired to the status of Brittany Guerrero's employment. You have a body cam already previously been investigated for stalking. She illegally arrested me. She pulled her gun on me. You have an unhinged cycle on the streets, and people aren't saying that I need to know if she's still employed here. So I need to know if I need to sit in my house. She is still employed here. So she is still out on the streets with her private citizens. So she's still employed here. Uh -oh. <laughs> As they begin to work out the details of the record's request, the chief of police enters the lobby and shows us exactly why his officers are so poorly trained, ill-tempered, and unfit for duty by immediately escalating what had been a perfectly civil conversation. Hey, I'm sorry for not uh, talking right now because I'm. This is I, I, I'm just in, in it. I'm like into it right now. You know what I'm by telling Ryan to shut up, denying him service, and going hands-on practically ensuring that the taxpayers would be punished for his inadequate leadership skills. Let me tell you something, Mr. Goldman, Jack, we're looking into this. You talk about it. I'm looking into it. Shut up and let me finish. You shut up. You shut up. Get, get, get out. Get out of the station. Out. Get out. You're out. You're trying to get 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 out. Officer Romero, the only one wearing a body cam, is somehow sensible enough to turn away and cover his body cam as the department's top dog makes a fool of himself and his department. You said you have legal Close counsel. The gap. Go talk to your attorney. I did, and I'm We're here. We're not talking to you I did. anymore. And you I'm have here. Legal I'm We're here. Done. Go talk to your I'm attorney. Here. Have him do it. Have your attorney do it. Go talk to your attorney. No wonder you're I'm allowed to do a trespass warning for what? activity Bye. and Bye. you just trespassed me. Protected yes, it is. Bye. You just trespassed me from public for what crime? What Bye. crime did I commit? Bye. See ya. I'm not leaving. What crime? I'll take the arrest. Okay. So what's going to happen? Go ahead. I'm not leaving. I'll take another okay. trespassing arrest. Don't go back to the Sir, can I? Hey. No. Okay. You're past well, I mean, you want I tried this a long so, time ago. So is your body cam still on? Yeah, it is. What Officer Romero could not censor by turning away or covering the lens, the records department would by muting the audio while the chief allegedly insults Ryan. Okay, so I need to request this body cam footage. You're not getting any body cam. Oh, uh, I want to hear what he had to say. The Romero 502. Romero 502. Okay. Okay. What do you think that people are going to think about the way you spoke to me? Mm -hmm. What do you think they're going to think about the way you're conducting yourself? I was kidnapped. Ah. Uh. Bye. Bye. That video is going to come out of you screaming at a concerned Bye. citizen. Bye. Sir. No cap. Your boy's been a little annoying, but he has every right to be. Every right to be, bro. If you didn't have that badge, think about what these six. After Ryan's escort walks the chief back to his desk, they realize that Ryan has gone back to the records desk, and they head back over to hover around him, right after the chief tried to trespass him. Since this video, there have been no updates, no word on the status of Brittany Guerrero's employment, results of her investigation, or a single record released to the press or to the victim himself. The state agents hide behind their magical spells and refuse transparency. Ryan has also reached out to the state attorney's office and the FDLE, but neither will lift a finger to help despite having been provided these videos. I'm not exactly sure at this point what we're supposed to think of this system or who they want us 
us to believe they work for. It certainly isn't Ryan. He was the victim of an alleged felonious aggravated assault, and they let his aggressor walk and arrested him instead. Since then, it appears they've done absolutely nothing in the interest of justice. Brittany is still employed, and there's no word of whether they charged the man that threatened Ryan's life with a concealed weapon, and the department is now treating him as if his inquiry into the facts is criminal. Perhaps someday, the department will release the footage of their officers on May 9th, and we will learn why Brittany felt compelled to aim a deadly weapon at an innocent man in a bathing suit and kidnap him for four hours. It's possible we might even find out if her panic attack was caused by realizing that she had made a grave mistake. And maybe, just maybe, it will show what lies this couple told to make all these officers release them, free of charge, if the department ever complies with the Sunshine Law, or the state attorney ever pressures the department to release the footage. Ooh, you know exactly where to find it. Y'all on blast you. that, Ryan will likely she post like to old, his channel. So to see more Karen. of his story... She look like old Karen, bro. I like. Dude, we don't know because there's no audio, right? It, who knows what was said between the whole swimming incident or whatever? I said, but obviously this dude flashed a gun at him, and the fact that he got arrested for it is mind-boggling to me, right? They even get arrested for it is crazy. But then again, we don't have audio either from uh. Even, even then, like she straight up put a gun. I don't know, bro. This is this is a tough one, bro. This is a tough one, bro. It's crazy that you can get the cops called when you when you get the gun pointed at you. I said that's tough, bro. And you're not the, even the one that has the gun. He has the gun. They treated like him. They treated him like he was like all right. They treated like they treated him like he didn't have a gun on him, and treated the other dude like he had a gun on him, and it was the roles were reversed. This is tough, bro. This is tough, man. I hope this dude sues the hell out of him, bro. I hope he gets all the money. And I hope, I hope that some bad cop comes to me without killing me. Not killing me. Comes to me and disrespects me the way that he's been disrespected. Because I'm suing. Hands down, I'm suing, bro. I have to be careful, though. Because I poke out of shares the web body cameras. <laughs> I think uh, I think our city cops do, but our, our sheriff don't. But you know what I'm saying? I just hope they could have been and just didn't try anything, bro. Because I want to get that money too. I got a, I got money to afford a lawyer. You know what I'm saying? So I wish they would try me. <laughs> no cap, bro. But it's your boy T Ness, man. Y'all let me know how y'all feel about this one, man. This is a tough one for me, bro. Because the dude was being extra. He's, he's a little out of hand when he went to the uh, city hall or wherever he went. But he has every right to be upset with what this lady right here put him through. So y'all let me know in the comment section how y'all feel about this whole situation, bro. It's very interesting to me. Uh, hope y'all enjoy. This is your boy T. Nasty, man. Holla at your boy. And I'm